if they had double done the uh, certification. Oh, my, uh, Carlos Garcia, he's not, he's never acted as the first chair of double Punky case. He may have been on some double Punky cases, but you know, as far as his representation, his representation to me though, it's foul. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's foul. Yeah. And so and so I wasn't I wasn't going to get off into the back and forth with him on issues that he had nothing to do when he hired an attorney. And so, you know, he tried to question me, and I refused to ask his questions, you know. And so I, I, I'm upset. I'm just upset about that, man, you know. And I just wondering, and because now a motion, this motion is a new motion. And like I said, it's nothing that has no merit behind it. You know, right. so the judge, the judge said, he made it clear. The judge said, listen, I can't deny him a constitutional right to hire him an attorney. He said, the Bible just says, just like you said, if the only way I can deny that is an attempt to uh, delay the process, and this is not that. You know, and so, you know, and so my lawyer heard that. I mean, he should have been able to capitalize in the hearing for uh, uh, get to work on my case. So now I'm, I'm delayed to the fifth. And so that gives my lawyer no time to huddle up the prosecutor to try to get the judge to deny me my constitutional right. You know what I'm saying? And so that, that concerns me. And so I expressed it to my lawyer, though, know, you know, that, you know, under, under the Bill of Rights, Article 1, Section 3, you know, it's called equality under the law. You understand? Know yeah. And every man has that right. And under uh, the Texas Constitution, uh, Section Article One, Section Three A, it says that these these uh, uh, uh these this right is self opportunity. And so it shouldn't be a friend so so my my not only has my constitutional right been uh uh friends on by this attorney, you know what I'm saying? And the court failed to resolve it. You know what I'm saying? And that, that, that just bothered me because even the other two lawyers that I got from out of state, this is a private issue. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, them being certified for the state bar and all this, these are all private issues. You know, that's supposed to be took up between the defense and the client. Not the public, you know. Right. And so when you put when you work when it, when this information went out to the public and these people are the same people that have to judge my lawyers uh, as far as his ability and so now it's their ability to, to represent this case is in question. So how is it gonna make them make make it even easier to take a fair jury when they might not respect my attorney's ability? When they clearly have the ability. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's just troubling to me, man. So since, since this is that I, we've hired, uh, we've hired, uh, a, a, a attorney, another attorney, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to get off until his ability because it's not, it's not from the, up to, uh, for debate. It, it shouldn't have been up for debate. My lawyer shouldn't have been questioned about the ability. And so, this is one of more problems I've had with this attorney, Carlos Garcia. You know, him willing to hide the truth, to work with the prosecution, and to, he yeah, ain't seen his top five, top five, you know, and all this, 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 this corrupt process he let happen in my case. He let them bring drugs into my case when there was never no drugs in my case. He allowed the, 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 the police officer to get on the stand and embellish on his affidavit and say that he had drug sales for me. But well, he never had affidavit. He never led to the affidavit. You know, he never, he never, Carlos never objected to drugs being in him until three or four years later on my case. You know what I'm saying? All this can lead to my case being mishandled because if I have a biased, biased jurist, you know, this, this judge, which is a judge, can add all this in a file and make it all good. And then I'm going to be able to appeal my issues because the public court will say one thing. You should have complained about this then. And this is 
attorney hasn't been complaining about my legal issues. Uh, not only that, these, these police officers haven't been showing up for lawfully issued subpoenas. Right. And he failed, he failed to go on the record and acknowledge that. And so if I want to complain about that, the appellate court will say, it's signing on the record. I don't see that. I don't see where the public police was subpoenaed and they refuse to show up. So I can't complain about that. But this is the representation that he claimed that he gave me and claiming that he got this, all this dumb stuff experience and all this. But he allowed my case to be this happen. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and that's just one of many issues. The motions, the motions that he filed have been defective. You know, he filed most, I don't know who filed the motions in the DCA. Because he clearly, in, in, in some cases, comes in the courtroom and not even know what the motion is. He tried to litigate the motion, as I said before. He didn't even know what the motion was. So, you know, it, it, it's something, man. You know, it's something. And so, a lot of times, man, these attorneys and these courts, they play on your intelligence. And if you don't know what's going on, they go go along with it because they have a rule of evidence. Like, these cases, man, it, they claim that I shot four officers. They charged me with four counts. But, uh... They, they haven't joined the cases. They supposed to join all these cases because they came out of the same episode. It's called Johnson. So when you do that, that the jury can see the whole picture of everything that happened because the rule of evidence allows that when you join the case. When you take one case like they're trying to do and, and, and not join the whole case, then a lot of stuff, stuff because of rule of evidence, the jury won't be able to even know. Because the prosecutor objects to anything else prior to just this little bit, you know, and use these two officers, the ones they want to use to cover, and come on stand in line and cover up for this case. So he's never one time requested that these cases be in charge. In fact, he even... So he never one time complained about these officers not showing up as women. So this, you know, me, no one's not right. I, I like this dude ain't representing me, right? So, I, you know, then also, he's running up to these, these cops who committed a crime against me. You know, in the courtroom, I don't know what he's saying. So this off, off the record, but I have on with this officer, Kirk. He's texting Kirk. Slapping the DA fire, wanting to use a statement after police stuck a gun in my mouth. Don't want to mitigate that uh, they violated my Miranda right. And so, man, you know, no, man, I'm I, 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 my lawyer, man, you know, and I and, and my lawyer should have knew not to file that mo that that warrant, that motion, man. He should have knew. Look, I'm in, I'm been hired. I'm his lawyer. That's it, man. And, he, if he did get off with my case, but he should be in the file, uh, uh, ethical complaint against them at State Bar and, uh, filed as my lawyer records at the clerk's office. You know what I'm saying? Right. His lawyer can't stand in the way, his lawyer can't stand in the way of me hiring an attorney, but that's what he did. And then he did on the floor of this courtroom, he basically disrespected the judge. When the judge explained it to him, he was with his first saying that I'm not getting off the case, I'm gonna stay on until he just this was resolved with these other two attorneys getting you know, on at the state bar. Man, you, you can't do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, and so man, I mean it's just man, it's just one thing after another, man, you know, this this process hasn't been fair, you know, and as long as my attorney was playing games with the prosecutor, playing footy, legal footy under the table. You know, my prosecutor, the prosecutor had nothing to say when on July the 4th, my attorney was drove off the case. He had nothing to say that his other 
Miami just got on the case. John Hammond just got on the case. He just got on my case. Sometimes November, December, January. Sometimes it's something that you can do. Sometimes you can't do it. 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 Sometimes you when me hire the lawyer, the proof will come out. But with these court appointed attorneys, man, you know, this, this is happening all over the world, man. And that's why I decided to get a law book, to find out what's going on. And that's how I found out that the affidavit was in Dallas, that they never said I sold any drugs like they said in the public. They never had any drugs sell me like they said in the public. The Korean police department, was not supposed to search my house. They they came to my house with dollar warrant. And so Carlos has been covering that up. He's working with them to cover it up. He's not because he's gonna get paid. He's worried about how much money he's gonna get paid. He don't give a nothing. He don't care if I go duck row or I get killed because I'm an African American and he and that's not concerning to him. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I'm just, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm troubled by this. You know, and, and the fact that my lawyer didn't come out this last year as my lawyer, as my lawyer, I was troubled by that. You know, and I had told him that. I said, listen, you should have filed that motion to, to substitute counsel because you're not a court appointed attorney. That's what a court appointed attorney would do. Don't get me wrong. Yes, that is a motion to file. But it's for a court appointment attorney to file. Because, like I said, the judge don't have nothing to do with me hiring a lawyer. As long as I'm not hiring a lawyer to delay, uh, it's an attempt by me to delay the process. And as I said, you just had COVID, you know what I'm saying, a pandemic, and it's impossible that we're going to be able to come off a pandemic and go into court and then pick a jury right then. And you're at least a year out because of the pandemic. So I'm sure and confident that these lawyers that I got, I got a good team that I believe that this lawyer, that, that Mr. Morris put together, and I believe we have more power to investigate and bring this case to trial in a timely manner. I don't want to play this game because Carlos know I didn't do this, and he got the evidence, and the DA gonna play ball with him because they know that he gonna play ball with him to to evict me. I don't know. I don't got time for that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's by the grace of God that I have I have paid attorneys now, but the question the question that is what's concerning to me, Nick, and what I'm saying is this. For my question, my turn to be questioned like they were in the March 7th hearing, it's just troubling to me, man. And the fact that even though the court stated the position and not made a ruling was, was thoughtful, you know, troubling to me is that, you know, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? You know, why would this be going in one minute? We have some kind of power. So I'm not the lawyer properly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. You know. So I, I'm just, I'm just I just had to get that off my chest, mate. Be cut off. You know, don't let this attorney drag you into no fight like that. Open up doors where you, you can be questioned. You know. But anyway, man, I love you, man. God bless, you, nigga. I mean. Yeah, if you want to see that, I, I've been stressing, get on my chest, man. By the grace of God, I got it off, man. You know, Amen. I have to say what I have to say, man. You know, it's hurtful, man. You know, I'm going to keep it real, man. Thank you for using security.